Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today's session, we look at 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11 through 17. Today's topic, take heed how you build. So 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11 says, For other foundation can no man lay, than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he had built dear upon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved yet by fire. Know ye not that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So looking at what the Apostle Paul was saying to the Corinthians, as he is saying that to us today, in a general way, this passage is reflecting or should reflect the lives of all Christian believers. It is true that we are all building day by day. And the result of our work will be made manifested, the Bible says, by fire. It will reveal what sort of work it is. It will be made known. Therefore, we have to be very careful how we build. And today we'll also take a look, not necessarily at only just the individual believers, but we'll take a look at the preachers and the teachers. So our topic is taking heed how we build. So Paul was explaining here how future builders must build in the foundation of Jesus Christ that he himself has already laid. So Jesus Christ is the chief builder and all the teachers and the preachers and the rest of us are the subcontractors. The subcontractors who are building for the master must use only quality materials. And that quality material is going to be referred to as faithfulness to God and his work. The duties that he has given to the ministers, the preachers, the teachers to equip the saints of God, which is his body, is building the church. So in a natural way, if somebody is going to build a house, a church, whatever building, there are certain building codes that applies. There are certain permits that this contractor or subcontractor has to have. And at certain time, there is going to be an inspection whether this building is approved or disapproved. Whether this building has been made to the standard of the code that is required when the inspection takes place. So Paul here is saying, a, a day is coming when that which the preachers and the teachers are building, God himself is going to have an inspection to see the quality of the work. That day the Bible refers to, for the body of Christ is 
a special day and this day is going to be a judgment at the judgment seat of Christ when he is going to examine or he is going to test by fire he is going to approve or disapprove was this building built on the foundation on the person and work of Jesus Christ the one who starts the foundation of this work the word of God in the scripture is likened to in Isaiah 5 and verse 24 as fire and in Jeremiah 23 and verse 9 this same word of God will be the one that tests the service or the work of these preachers and teachers and in turn the individual Christian believers this must be done in accordance to the teaching of the word of God when our work will know based on the teaching from the word if it can stand on the coming day of our Lord so today we will look at three different scenarios describing the three different types of subcontractors who were constructing the building of God and when we look at the scripture Paul tells us in every line that is there in verse 13 every man's work shall be made manifest on that day verse 14 says if any man's work does not abide Verse 17 says, if any man defile the temple of God. And verse, all these verses are telling us that the work will appear before God for inspection, for examination, and it will be tested by fire. So we are going to look at the three different works. The first one, and we want to see that this is in connection man's work man's service is the type of work in connection with the work the church of God number one he says there are going to be work that is profitable profitive profitable service that was done for God in this case the subcontractor are the builders life work must endure the test when it goes before the judgment seat of God for inspection how has he constructed this building was it done on time within budget and according to specification yes then his work is one that will last because it is likened to unto gold silver and precious stones and the Bible says when the work is like this, it is a profitable work. It is a profitable service. And therefore, this work or this subcontractor will receive a reward for the service that he has done. Because in his lifetime, he has brought glory to God and blessing to mankind. The second work we will look at is the work that is useless useless service or useless work so in this case the subcontractor or the builder or the servant or the worker as we can call them will suffer loss the bible says he himself will be saved yet so through fire so at the judgment seat of christ it is the service or the work of the individual that is in question and not this person's salvation. He is already saved. The Bible says his work will be lost, but he himself will be saved. So even though it's a useless work because he didn't do it according to the specifications, he didn't do it because of how God required it, and if he did it by self, if he did it by man's wisdom, if he did it for any other thing, then this work will be burnt, consumed, the Bible says, by fire. Such work is likened to 
wood, A and stubble. What happened to this work? It this work caused trouble among the people of God. Or this work fails to edify the people of God. And so because of that, this work couldn't endure. It didn't last. God didn't approve of it. It wasn't of the best quality material. It did not meet the standard. And therefore, it went into flames. The third kind of work that we are talking about is that of destructive work, destructive service. So in the local church, Paul was saying, there are some work or some people who come in the house of God to teach falsely. False teachers, those that have come into the church at Corinth, where their instruction tended to sin rather than to a holy living as unto God. And this caused havoc in the temple of God. They did not see this as a serious matter that they were causing havoc in the temple. So Paul reminded the believers to have a self-awareness in verse 16. Know ye not that your temple is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, the Holy Spirit resides in the believer, but his presence is also in the temple. So Paul says, listen, know with whom you are identified. Be aware Yes, your temple, the inner sanctuary of God, God's spirit dwell there, but he also dwell in the midst of you in the temple. So the apostle was looking at the church as a collective company, a corporate body of people, the body of Christ, the believers, they were a temple built by God he being the foundation, the teachers and the preachers being the subcontractors. This is a holy calling, the apostle was saying, and he wanted them to know and to realize that they should treat this holy calling and the work of God with dignity. So he says, if any man defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. Anyone who enters a local church and wreck its testimony, God will destroy such one. So these false teachers who are not true believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, but ruin, corrupt, defraud, and destroy the temple of God, the Bible says God will destroy them. What is he saying? Do not build with the intent to defraud. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Today, our topic is saying, take heed how you build. We see three sets of builders today, and only one work was quality work. Only one work was quality material. And so that man and his work was saved. He was rewarded for his work. The second builder, he soul was saved, but his work was burnt up. Third set of people or subcontractor, his work also was burnt. So as we build today, let us build upon the foundation, the foundation of the person and the work of Jesus Christ. And as the apostle says, let us not build to the fraud. God bless you. 
and thank you again for watching.